Good morning guys and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. Well, it's April and that means it's time for our surprise April Jackhammer Challenge. This month we are tackling a chest and tricep crusher that is short on time and high on intensity. So this workout is all Tabata except for an ending three minute tricep burnout, okay? so. We have Tabata pairs throughout the whole thing. One move in the pair is going to be a tricep or chest strength move. The second move is going to be some kind of burpee to reinforce the burn. So you'll get a healthy dose of cardio and a healthy dose of strength with a very efficient amount of time involved. So what you're going to need for this workout is a box or sturdy elevation chair to do those dips on. Um, you will need your BOSU if you have it. If not, just do those moves right on the floor and you'll need some dumbbells, a towel, some water, and your can-do attitude as always. So when you've grabbed all those things and you're ready to crush your chest and your triceps, I will see you back here for our warm-up. All right, guys, let's get your chest and tricep crusher started with a good warm-up. All right, let's just box or shuffle it out and reach. Opening up those shoulders a little bit, getting the legs open up. I want you to take those reaches back and forward, squeezing the chest in front. A couple more here. Last one. All right, come over to your box or an elevation or right on the floor. We're gonna do two push-ups and then two tricep push-ups. One, two, walk the hands in. One, two, take them out. One, two, one, two. One, Two. One, keep those elbows in tight. Two. It's our last four. There's two. And one, two. Very good. Awesome. All right, now let's just go to a curtsy with a reach. Really reach, open up, wake up those side body muscles. Especially if it's early where you are, like it is here. Let's do one more each side, there's one. All right, now let's stir the pot. <laughs> As Millionaire Hoy used to say, stir the pot. Reverse directions. Just opening up that shoulder joint here. Okay, let's switch sides. Nice big circles. Reverse. Good job. Shake it out a little bit. We're going to warm up the legs a little bit with some squats. You can open the chest at the top. You could even hit some cactus arms here at the top if you want. Getting all ready for this express chest and tricep pressure. When it lacks in length, it will make up for with some good intensity. Anytime you put strength with burpees, it's a deadly combination. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today.
Now after our warm up, I want you to go ahead and hit a few just warm up sets of chest presses since we're starting out with a heavy chest press, okay? So make sure your chest is ready to do the work. I am going to push pause and do that as well. And one. Good job, guys. Your warm up is finished, but there's still work to be done. Get a couple of light warm up sets of chest presses in, and I will see you back here for our workout. All right, guys, you are ready to start this workout. I hope you did your warm up chest press sets and you're feeling nice and ready to lift some heavy weights. And I guess we're ready to get started. All right, grab those weights. Get safely down to your mat. Starting with chest presses. Second move is gonna be a burpee. There we go. I've got 30 pounds per hand here. Very good. Short interval, so go nice and heavy. Alright, we have burpees next. You can do just a standard push-up burpee. You can do a full release push-up burpee. Whatever feels good. This is your workout. Very good. Back to chest presses. You can bridge up for some glute work. I brutalized my glutes yesterday, so I don't need any more help with the glutes today. <laughs> Here we go for some burpees. Make them quick, dynamic, explosive, all those things we love. Make them fun. Losing my hair here. Not losing it, but it's coming down. All right, we're just gonna have to make do. All right, chest presses. Chest presses get hard after all those burpees. Whew. I think my bobby pin's broken. I think that's why the hair malfunction happened here. <laughs> Press on, we shall. Good job. Phew. All right. Chest presses. Last set. Nice good burn. Remember what we're lacking in time. We're making up for in intensity. safely down. Not a lot of transition time, but pause if you need to and be safe. Almost there. Three, two, one. Very good. You're finished with your first divided pair. All right, we're gonna focus a little bit more on triceps now. 
with some closed chest presses. And we're gonna pair those with tricep push-up burpees. So grab your weights for that. I think I'm gonna start with some 25s. If I have to go lower, I'll go lower. We are doing tricep push-up burpees with those, so our triceps should be burnt by the time we're finished here. Here we go. So our arms are close to our bodies, kind of mimicking a tricep push-up upside down. These are a good time. <laughs> Real good time. Very good. All right. I just have 25 pounds per hand there. Not a lot, but enough. <laughs> Here we go, tricep push up burpees. Hands close. You can change your jump if you want. I'll do a little heel grab, I think. Very good. Shake them out. Shake them out. This is going to be a tough pair. I can already tell. You need to. Lower those weights. Go right ahead. I may have to. After all those tricep push-ups. Two. One. Some of my shoulder pops and gives me the heebie-jeebies with that move. So if you see me down there like Gagging. I'm not sick. I'm just freaked out. <laughs> Very good. Here. After these burpees, just one more full round. Push-up burpees for your last time. Here we go. Very good. All right. Another Tabata pair has been crushed. We're going into incline chest presses, so I'm going to bring out my BOSU for this. And then we're going to do a staggered BOSU burpee. So I'm going to angle my mat there so I have enough room for all this fun. Grab my BOSU and we will get this party started. All right. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna start with 25s for this, and then we'll go up. You have 10 seconds. Just 
resting the small of our... I won't say the small of your back, that's the lower part, but just a small bit of your upper back on that bow suit. So that we're at a nice angle for those chest presses. All right, stagger your bosu burpee. We're starting with one hand on the ground, one hand on the bosu, coming up. Both hands on the bosu, coming up. Just alternating with a nice tricep push up in the middle. Okay. Very good. All right. Incline, chest presses. I think this 25 is going to be enough. Whew. Arms are very fatigued from those first few sets. Good efficient workout. Your Bosu burpees. Are you guys having fun yet? This is awesome. Being able to crush a workout in a lot of Tabata in not too much time. Whew. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this one. <laughs> Arms are screaming. those chest presses. Arms are shaking. Are your arms shaking? They should be. That is not easy. Two more burpees in the chest press. All right, here we go. Gotta watch my beam here with that jump. But you guys jump as high as you possibly can. Wow. Very good. All right, last chest press. I have no idea what my hair is doing at this point. <laughs> Here we go. Last chest press. Push. Tighten that core. Squeeze the chest. Very good. Last burpee for this Tabata. Here we go. So many push-ups. <laughs> so many chest and tricep focus moves in so little time. One last push-up for that Tabata pair. All right, guys. We are finished with that Tabata pair. We're headed on to some dips and diamond push-up plank jack burpees, okay? Whew. This is tough. Let's get a good drink. Move that bow suit out of the way. Unless you want to do a diamond push-up on that. Good luck. <laughs> um, so, dips I'm going to do on my box here. Whew. My triceps are already shaking, so this should be fun. You have 10 seconds. Here we go. Good times. Now, if you're more of a beginner at this move, you're going to keep your feet in, or if your triceps are just killing you, Keep your feet in as you become more advanced. 
walk those feet out. Very good, all right. Diamond push up, plank jack burpee. Good times. So our hands are gonna be this way. And hit a push up, plank jack, burpee. Push up, plank jack, burpee. You can also do this all in one move. Okay, if you like that better. Almost like a star push up. Okay, that also works. Oh, this is going to be fun. What am I talking about? It's already fun. Okay, dips. Getting okay, on there, almost done. Very good. Whew. My, my. <sighs> Back to those diamond push-up plank jack burpees. Hands in a diamond. <sighs> you can plank jack after or during that push-up. Job dips again. Five of eight here. Hang on tight. Remember, you can always, always walk those feet in. To right here and just dip. Very good. Oh, so nice. Such a nice burn. You guys burning? I am burning. Okay, here we go. You can add a star jump at the top. If you wanna do that, just keep those diamond hands. Dips again. All right. Seven of eights, our last set of dips. Make them count. Arms close to your sides. Back close to your elevation. Very good. Last one of those. Last diamond push up grumpy with a plank jack. Here we go. And then you can make your star at the top. Just keep that diamond at the bottom. Good job. All right, guys. You're finished with another Tabata pair. Your next, 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 next move is going to be flies. And we're going to pair that with some wide push-up pulse burpees. So when you go down for the push-up, two pulses, okay? I'm going to get my BOSU back out for these flies. Move a few things around. So if you need to take a drink, do that. And I'll see you back for this last Tabata pair. Awesome job, guys. All right, guys, we've got some flies. I'm doing mine on the BOSU. We're going to pair them with those wide push-up pulse burpees. You have 10 seconds. All right. I'm going to bridge up for these. I have 15 pounds per hand. <clears throat> We're just flying them straight out, squeezing at the top. Don't need a lot of weight for this move. Very good. All right. Get all that stuff out of the way. Your wide push-up pulse burpees. 
Alright, so wide hands. Push up, pulse at the bottom. You can make this a tuck if you want. You can make it a wide tuck. You can make it a heel click. I think I like that one the best for that move. Alright, back down you go for your flies. Squeeze that chest. Very good. Move those weights and that bow suit out of the way if you've got it. There we go. Wide push up pulse. About five seconds. Doing great. Very good. Get that bow suit back. You got it. I like the bow suit because it gives me a little bit more of an extended range of motion. And just being on the ground. Very good. Wide push up burpees. All right, here we go. Pulse. Good click. Five seconds. Very good. All right, this is your last full round of flies and wide push-up pulse burpees. Have fun. Very good job. Last set of burpees for the workout the whole entire day. All right, give it all sorts of effort. Big explosive jumps. Five seconds. Very good. Very, very good, guys. All right, the last thing you have to do for this workout is a three-minute burnout for the triceps. We're going to finish off with a bang. So you'll need to wait for overhead tricep extensions. Other than that, you won't need any weights because we're going to do a tricep push-up on the left and a tricep push-up on the right, okay? These are 30-second intervals. We're going to go through it twice. So... Off we go. I'm going to try to use 25 here. Um, but if I need to go down, I will for those overhead extensions. And we've got 10 seconds before we have to start. All right. Three, two, one. So our elbows are close. We shouldn't be able to see them beside us. And keep them tight. You're halfway done. Use a nice heavy weight here that you can control. Very good. Get it safely down. All right, down to the mat you go. And I go, press that push up, left arm. So left arm's down, 
right arm's hugging us. <laughs> I can feel it. 14 seconds. And one. Oh my. All right, other side right away. Then we'll go back to that first move. And then we'll be ready to cool down. So, hug around your neck with the left arm now. And then push up with the right. Fifteen seconds, don't give up. Six seconds. Three, two, one. Left. All right. Good job. We're back to the top. That first move. If you have more time today, add more rounds of this with my blessing. You need to step one foot back. Ooh, this is a proper burnout. Oh man. Three, two, one. Very good. That weight safely down. Wipe off those hands so you don't slip with those tricep push-ups. Down you go. Hug that neck. Nice and hard this time. Ten seconds. Two, one. Oh my. Shaking. Are you guys shaking? If you're not. I don't know what to tell you to do, because that's a hard move. <laughs> Here we go. Hug that neck. Sometimes it's hard to get adjusted with this one, until a point where you feel like you're doing it right, so shuffle until you get there. This is our last interval. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Very, very good, guys. You have crushed this express tricep and chest crusher. So wipe off and we will cool down. Awesome job today, guys. All right, guys, we're just gonna start with some side-to-side -side reaches for your cool down. Hold it here on the right. And hold it on the left. <clears throat> and Take it center, cactus arms, pull back. All right, interlace those fingers, reach forward. Cactus arms again. Reach forward again. Those arms up. And tricep stretch on the right.
And tricep stretch on the left. Alright, from here, let's just reach forward a bit. Open up those hips a little bit. Alright, now we're going to slowly sit up, take those knees back behind us. We're going to open up the hips and do a child's pose. So reach forward first, press into those palms to get the lats nice and stretched out. Now we're going to take that left hand towards the left, put the right hand on top of the left hand and shift our hips back. Take it back center. And take it to the right. Right hand towards the right, left hand on top. Shifting those hips back and towards the left side. back, walk the knees in, shift our hips back into a downward facing dog, you can pedal up those feet so that you can get some calf stretch there dynamically, and shift the hips all the way back, heel toe, heel toe in, and slowly roll up. Quick quad stretch on each side. All right, let's hit the other one, and you will be all done for today. Awesome job, guys. Your warm or your warm up, your cool down is all finished, and I will see you back at the camera for your send off. All right, guys, great job crushing this workout with me. I hope it absolutely annihilated your arms in an efficient amount of time. And since you probably don't have much time, I won't talk too much for this part. So, as always, get a lot of water in your body today. Get a healthy post workout meal. Check out our glute program. Email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com with any questions about nutrition or glute programs. Stretch out some more if you need to, and always be kind to the difficult people in your path, because they will be in your path. And though you may want to mow them over, we should perhaps just hug them instead. So, you guys did an awesome job today. Um, I hope you loved the workout. I will see you for our next workout, of course. And whether you jumped on this chest and tricep express train or whether you're feeling a little more like you got hit by the struggle bus, you finished. And it is your health today and every day. So here comes the hammer. You know what you got to do. You better hit it hard. Boom. I will see you guys soon. Have an awesome week, an awesome month of April. And you are so incredibly strong. See you soon.